And this has been a particularly awful flu mm. season, right? With over 13 million cases reported according to the Centers for Disease Control. And although activity has been down for the last two weeks, there has been seven pediatric deaths last week. Here with an update is pediatrician Diane Hess. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Now let's just dispel the number here because we're saying things are looking up, but you're saying not really because not all of the flu cases are reported, right? Right. So if you present to your doctor in urgent care, you're not going to get reported to a lab. So those numbers still haven't been calculated yet. And I can just tell you from what we're seeing in our office, the numbers are going up. And even if you look at those national statistics, it didn't even drop a percentage point. Um, flu peaks in February. In February, which yeah. is really key. So I got my flu shot right here on the air, in fact. And I think we have some video of that. Um, it wasn't bad at all. I was really a little nervous about it, to tell you the truth, because I was afraid that it was going to hurt. Not painful. Although Craig was here. Dan, I think, Dan, you were off that day. So that Craig off. had a hole in my hand during this one. It was not a big deal. But some folks do worry that, OK, wait a second. I haven't gotten it yet. Is it even worth it at this point? Oh, it 100 percent is, because like I said, it didn't peak yet. Flu can last through sometimes till May. and. You have to remember that you might be a healthy adult and you think I don't need the flu vaccine, but you get the flu vaccine not only to protect yourself, but to protect others who cannot get the flu vaccine, mm -hmm. like elderly, infants, people who are immunocompromised on certain drugs or with cancer. So it's almost a public health issue right. that you get the flu vaccine. You know, I got my flu shot at my local pharmacy. Right. Yeah. That's how yeah, easy it is. Yeah. You walk in, you just get the uh, flu shot there, and if you have insurance, it's free. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's been particularly dangerous for children. Seven deaths last week, 39 in total. So what can parents do besides getting the flu shot? Mm -hmm. so, what is information they need to know to so arm like, themselves? You know, if you have guests coming and they're sick, please do not come. If you do get, uh, if one of your children gets the flu and your other children aren't vaccinated, go get them vaccinated. Um, start Tamiflu if it's within 48 hours. If your household contacts have been exposed to the flu, start Tamiflu. because. Yeah. So, so you, mentioned, you, know, yeah. you mentioned Tamiflu, and you know, I had a friend who exhibited symptoms that were like a cold, so she didn't go to the doctor for more than 48 hours, and then she went. So how do you know, okay, I have the flu, I have to go to the doctor right now? You don't really know, because especially if you've been vaccinated, it's a lesser flu, so you're not mm. that yeah. sick. But if you... Um, if you are like 104 and up fever, shaking chills, vomiting, and you can't keep anything down, a terrible cough, the fever is persisting for three days without decreasing, um, those are signs. You know, we always say, don't, you don't have to run. Fever it just shows your body's fighting an infection. But if you're a child or you're an adult and you're getting dehydrated, you can't catch your breath, you're really feeling like you're almost like your body's been hit by a truck is what mm -hmm. a lot of the patients say. That's when you go to the doctor. Very quickly, for those who say, wait a second, you know, the flu shot's great and all, but it doesn't cover all the strains, so it's not worth it. So that... It's true. It doesn't cover everything. But, Better than nothing. But in the reported deaths last year in the season, 80% of the patients who died from the flu were not vaccinated for the mm. flu. Okay. So we know it provides some coverage. They're the patients who do not end up in the ICU, do not right. end up getting resuscitated, things like that. Dr. Gotcha. Hess, thank you for coming yes, with the information. Okay. And you got your thank flu you. shot, right? Absolutely. <laughs>